Hello, and welcome to the video guide and demonstration of the Melissa Data Fuzzy Matching Component for SQL Server Integration Services. In this video, we will learn the fundamentals of how to correctly set up the component and see some of its features and functionalities. If we open up our Business Intelligence Development Studio, we can see how the Melissa Data Components are nicely installed as part of the data flow transformations. To use the Fuzzy Matching Component, you can simply drag and drop the transform onto your data flow palette. So now let's take a look at one of our pre-built packages that uses the Melissa Data Fuzzy Matching Component. As you can see, we've created a simple data flow that containing input SQL databases, which are then mapped into the Fuzzy Matching Component, and the results are then dumped into SQL database destinations as well. First, let's take a look at the inputs. The component takes in two database inputs, one being your source table, which represents your historical or reference data, which we've named here as the source. And the second will be the incoming database that you would like to compare your reference data to, which we've named here as the compare database. Let's go ahead and see what we actually have in our data. Our reference data has three unique records of names, Chris Rogers, John Smith, and Michelle Lopez. Our incoming table, on the other hand, only has one record with the name Christopher Rogers. Later on, we will see if Christopher Rogers actually has some fuzzy matches in our reference data. So now let's take a look at the component itself. The Melissa data component for SSIS are all GUI-based, having an easy-to-use, step-by-step interface for easy setup. Before we start using the component, we'll need to make sure that the component is installed correctly. To do this, click the Advanced Configuration button below and simply enter the license string you were provided with. Next, click on the Test Configuration button and make sure that there were no errors in initialization. So now we go back to the main screen. The first step in setting up the component is to specify the columns you wish to compare your in your data. As you can see here, We've selected the full name column of our source table to be compared to the full name column of our compare table. If you wish to compare more columns, simply add the column name from the drop down below. Next, we select the match type. The match type is simply the algorithm we want to use for similarity computation. Melissa Data offers a wide range of algorithms to choose from, including Jaro Winkler, Levenstein, Jacquard similarity, phonetics, and so on. Some of the algorithms like MD Keyboard were actually developed by Melissa Data and thus is unique to the product. The next step would then be to set your upper and lower thresholds. When we take a look at our output destinations, we can see that there are actually three possible pipes. One for the matches, one for the possible matches, and another for non-matches. The thresholds will determine where your results will get redirected to. Records that match 97% and above will be sent to the match output. Anything 60% or below will be sent to the non-match output. And anything in between goes to the possible matches. The component also lets you have the option whether or not to consider white spaces by checking or unchecking this checkbox. It also has built-in capabilities to perform cleansing through search and replace patterns using regular expressions. If you don't have experience in writing regular expressions, the component has reg a regex builder to help you guide in formulating your regex rules for cleansing. So now we move over to the second tab in our interface. In this tab, we have several additional options. The output match percentage allows you to create a new column for showing the actual match score between two records. Changing the threshold logic becomes useful when you're actually comparing more than one column. This gives you another level of validation to decide which records would be considered a match. For example, if I had three columns I'm doing comparisons on, clicking this option would make it so that the records would still be considered a match even if just one column satisfied the threshold. The match diagnostic fields 
lets you select additional metadata output. You wish to include such as the comparison type used, or the regular the, or the replace regex rule that was applied to a record. This metadata information becomes useful, especially when you're doing post-processing analyses of your data. The third and the fourth tab simply lets you specify the pass-through fields. Pass-through fields are simply those columns you want to carry over as is from your input to the output. When we're done, simply click the OK button to finalize the component. After setting the fuzzy matching component, we then map its outputs to three different destinations. Again, this would be your matches, your possible matches, and your non-matches. Now, let's take a look at how our results look like when we run the component. As you can see, the component was able to detect Chris Rogers and Christopher Rogers as a 75% match. And because 75% falls in between the range of our thresholds, the record was sent as part of the possible matches, while all the other comparisons were sent to the non-match destination, as they all had similarity percentages below 60%. And this concludes our video demonstration on how to set up and run the fuzzy matching component for SSIS. If you wish to learn more, we highly recommend that you check our videos on advanced fuzzy matching and some of our other video on some and some of our other components as well. If you have any questions, you can contact us at 1-800-800-6245 or email us at g-dqt at melissadata.com. Again, that's 1-800-800-6245 or g-dqt at melissadata.com. Thank you.